Joe Biden, I support Britain, Mayor Evans. We're running out of space, we're running out of personnel, and we certainly are running out of funds. And so we really have to move from an emergency to managing this in the way that makes sense. This issue will destroy New York City. Whenever I think of the New York City migrant crisis, I can't help but laugh. And I believe anybody with any sort of independent and logical thought would feel the same. Mayor Eric Adams told state lawmakers in Albany that New York City needed $4.6 billion just to pay for half of its yearly costs related to the migrant influx. That amount alone is mind-blowing, and to think New York will have to pay that amount for people who came into their country illegally just makes it even more crazy to me. Let me tell you something, New Yorkers. The migrant crisis taking on a new tone. Never in my life have I had a problem that I did not see an ending to. I don't see an ending to this. I don't see an ending to this. This issue will destroy New York City. Destroy New York City. Mayor Eric With the migrant crisis continuing to royal New York City, Mayor Eric Adams appeared to score a win last month when the governor vowed to commit $2.4 billion just to cover the costs of caring for the tens of thousands of people who have arrived in New York to seek refuge. On Tuesday, Mr. Adams said even that would not be enough. The city's multi-billion dollar migrant response will soon lead to services being slashed. This is a serious crisis when it's taking up and sucking up a lot of the resources. Testifying at the state capitol in Albany, he emphasized that the state's financial contribution is crucial to sustain migrant care services in the city without resorting to significant budget cuts. He highlighted that a minimum of 50% state funding support, totaling $4.6 billion as estimated by his team, is necessary to alleviate the strain on the city's resources. Uh, making the city more livable means investing in cleaner streets and more vibrant public spaces. To continue this investment, uh, we need financial support to cover the cost of the asylum seeker humanitarian crisis. These are urgent needs that support working class families in New York City and our administration is asking for your help once again. We're the economic engine of the state, Mr. Adams said. And we've always been here for the state. We need the state now to be here for us in the city. It remains astonishing to me that the city of New York is burdened with the responsibility and financial strain of supporting individuals who entered the country and the city unlawfully. This is a concept I may never fully understand. New York officials had hoped to divide the cost of sheltering migrants equally among the city, state and federal governments. But federal officials refused to commit to that arrangement, leaving the city to press the state for more funds. 110,000 migrants. We have to feed, clothe, house, educate the children, wash their laundry sheets, give them everything they need, health care, Month after month, I stood up and I said, this is going to come to a neighborhood near you. Well, we're here. we're here. In addition to more money for migrants, the mayor used his trip to Albany to seize the opportunity to push for several other critical initiatives, including mayoral control of schools, measures to tackle illegal cannabis vendors, and an expansion of the city's borrowing capacity. New York legalized recreational marijuana use in 2021 aiming to uplift communities of color disproportionately affected by the war on drugs. But licenses to sell cannabis have been slow in coming, as regulators sought through economic, environmental and legal concerns, leading to a proliferation of unlicensed vendors. Last month, Is Hutchell described the rollout as a disaster during an interview with the Buffalo News editorial board. She has since put forth measures aimed at empowering both the state and local authorities to crack down on illegal vendors. Mr. Adams has said that he supports the proposal, but believes it could go farther.